Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you my most useful lick, the lick that I use the most and the one that I personally think is the most fun to jam around with. So I'm very excited about this. Firstly though, I would just like to thank everybody, I'd like to thank you who's watching this video because I've just surpassed 20,000 subscribers on YouTube and I could not be happier. I am overwhelmed with the, you know, the support that I've been showing on this channel and just so many people enjoying the lessons, it makes me so, so happy. You made a Scottish chappy, very happy. So thank you very much. I read every single comment I get and, you know, I've got so much, so much love for you all. So thank you. Anyways, on to the lesson. So today's lick is going to sound like this. <laughs> All right, really bluesy, and we're going to move this like around so we can make a cool chord progression, a cool bluesy progression. So the great thing about today's lesson is just one chord shape and one lick. All right, so I'm going to break this down right away. So we're using shape four of the pentatonic scale and this B7 shape for our chord. All right, so when you have the root on the A string, Okay, so the C we're using, this is a C7. Then on the high E string, this is where we start shape four of the pentatonic scale. So if you've got a root here, the string on that same fret will be in line with shape four. All right, so we would have six, three, uh, six, uh, four, five, three, and then we're going to incorporate this little blues run using the blues note. Five, four, three, one, and then three on the A string. So just going to go over that nice and slow because you can use all these notes to do so many things. One more time. So you can be very creative with that and if you want to go more deep into this kind of stuff the theory you want to brush up and all that stuff then i'm still taking people on my uh, my private coaching program 12 weeks where i work with you personally as your teacher and mentor to break through those plateaus and bring you to the next level so sales spiel over you can check applications below if you're interested but on with the lesson that's shape four and that's where we're getting this lick from <laughs> So what we're doing here is we're using these two bottom notes to create this double stop. All right, I've got my index finger on three, my middle finger on four on the B. Right, and I'm getting two of them together and I'm giving that B string a little bluesy nudge. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off from five to three on the G string. Like that. Then I'm going to get five on the D, slide uh, down to three. So I get the note first and then I get it again and slide down. Then I get my index finger on one. And that's a very fast slide. It's not a... It's a <laughs> and then I'm going to take my middle finger on two in the A and slide into the third fret. And then make my seven shape. All right, so this is just like a B7, but on the third fret. So it's three, two, three. And when I'm getting this chord as well, I am not getting the open strings, all right? So you can either just be very accurate with those strings or you can use these fingers to kind of mute the bottom strings and give yourself that safety to prevent those open strings ringing out. What you can also do is use your thumb to mute the top string so you can be really free with it. Just have your thumb hovering over that top string. All right, so again, 
And then I'm going to add a strum. I just like kind of go strum, strum. A little strum and a big strum. Like that. the basis of it all right now what we're going to do now so we've got something to practice this with and we can implement uh everything into our, our heads <laughs> we can move this shape around so if i want to find well, i want to do a one four five right so i want to find the one four five chords to make a blues progression so that would be a c an f and a g okay so i'm gonna do a c7 an f7 and a g7 and again, I'm not going to go too deep into the theory. I just want this to be a practical exercise. Uh, the F7, again, I can just find the F note on the top, the, the A string and do the exact same thing. Make the exact same chord shape and use the exact same scale. Again, the roots here. So here I've got shape four. Do the exact same thing. <laughs> I don't know why I speak so high. <laughs> and then I've also got the C, uh, the G7. Here, on the 10th fret, and again, shape 4, in that lick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play like a, a little blues, so it's going to sound something like this. What am I doing here? Again, I play this like twice in the C part, all right? Again. And then I'm going to move that up to the uh, the eighth fret where I've got my, my F. Exact same thing, guys, right? Exact same lick, all right? You're just moving it up there to the seventh and eighth fret. Back to the C. Then we're going to do a little turnaround, right? I'm going to come up to the G and just do the lick. Up at the 10th fret, same lick. Except I'm not going to slide into the chord this time. I'm just going to go slide there, uh, pick off from 12, pull off from 12 to 10, sorry. 12, slide down to 10, and then get uh, 8 on the D. All right, and then I'm going to do the lick exactly where my index finger is here. I'm going to come down to the F or the F, uh, the F scale, F minor pentatonic scale on the eighth fret. Do the exact same lick, finishing on the sixth fret this time. All right. And then come back into the lick in the C minor. There you have it, right? One lick, one chord shape, and lots of fun. All right, guys, so take it easy. I am going to be going live this Sunday, by the way, so if you've got any questions, uh, basically it's just a chance for me to hang out with possibly 20,000 of you. <laughs> I doubt it, but um, I just want to celebrate reaching so many people, and yeah, on Sunday I'm going to go live, 3 p.m. British time, British standard time, British summer time, whatever it's called, and I hope to see... Uh, to see you there. So, Sunday 3pm, come here, ask me anything you like, and we'll have a little jam. Alright guys, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next lesson.